Good morning. It's uh, about uh, 920. It's uh, getting my day started. I actually got was up a little earlier uh, doing some work and wasn't able to get to the uh, first commentary. So this is it, the first commentary. Uh, it was an interesting day yesterday. I uh, got the laptop uh, for the uh, front room upgraded and uh, tested out the the video processing up uh, there uh, successfully. So that means uh, we will be moving ahead as scheduled. The goal now is to look at and improve the show in addition to producing other shows. As I mentioned on Friday, uh, a new show uh, aimed at the Linux crowd uh, will be uh, coming out on uh, this channel as well. I'll be working on, uh, and I've already started working on another show on the Mayan calendar uh, for the Physics TV YouTube channel. And as I was looking around, uh, uh, one of the, the shows I primarily uh, sort of use as a uh, guide to what to do, sort of as a reference, uh, is uh, Nerds for Al. Uh, interesting, interesting show. Um, so I looked at that and seeing, uh, looking at how they do their stuff. I looked at a couple other uh, different uh, people who are doing uh, the similar type of things uh, where they're commenting on a daily basis or on a nearly daily basis on uh, what they're doing. So it sort of invites you into their lives and you get to sort of uh, play the uh, fly on the wall as, as it were. Uh, it, uh, compared to what I've been seeing on TV, it, it does seem to me that um, this would be an interesting way to go in terms of uh, uh, entertainment. Uh, but it really depends on what you like to see and uh, what you like to hear. Uh, some people want more information than stuff. Some people want less information. Um, I noticed on a number of the uh, kids' TV shows, they're starting to bring this whole... Uh, internet um, self-broadcasting uh, concept into their shows just the way uh, Justin Bieber uh, became popular off of uh, YouTube uh, they now bring it into the shows and they're uh, making entire episodes around these whole things of, uh, of people on the internet creating reality TV shows and of course uh, their old standby is that when they re create this reality show and it's not really real, it's the kind of a scripted, put-together type of thing that poses as real. Uh, and, of course, they're always looking for conflict, because what is conflict? Conflict is drama and good TV. Um, I don't always find that necessarily to be the case, uh, but some people, uh, that's what they like. Uh, they want conflict, they want uh, people battling things in and out. Uh, but uh, that's not necessarily for me, so I'm choosing uh, the route to go down um, is uh, for those of you who uh, like the Big Bang Theory, uh, this is the uh, Big Bang Theory RL. It's the real life version of it. It's, uh, it's uh, one super geek uh, uh, in, uh, in his lab and warehouse. So that's what this is, so this is the way, way we're going to be going. Uh, rather than being scripted or even sort of put together, I'm trying to do as much as possible uh, unscripted. This is coming at you. Uh, there's been no preparation for this. Uh, I maybe maybe took three, to three minutes to sort of think about what I was going to say, but even then, after thinking about it, when it comes out, it's not actually <laughs> what... I was planning to come up with initially, so everything when I, that I say is more or less raw and off the top of my head. And this is sort of where I want to go with things because it, as I start developing uh, more media media products uh, for the internet, which will be primarily documentary or, or information oriented, uh, 
I don't want things to be fake and phony. I want it to be real. And the only way to really do that is to really think, to know the stuff well enough that you can comment on things and narrate right off the top of your head. Uh, if you know the stuff, then you don't need this. You don't need a script. You need sometimes to sort of practice and make sure that your uh, enunciation is clear, uh, that you're saying your words properly, uh, things like that, and just to sort of tone down some of the annoying. Uh, the twitches that everyone seems to have. Everyone has their own particular twitch as they speak. Uh, if you notice something that comes up by watching yourself from these videos and you see uh, you're doing something over and over and over and over again, then you need to sort of try to, in your practice, wipe that out or reduce it to its lowest possible point so it is not as noticeable or annoying as it would be if you just sort of ignored it and kept on going uh, assuming that you know uh, who cares this is the real me but uh, as I said uh, I looked at uh, uh, been looking around on YouTube for uh, a couple of the channels and uh, seeing what they've been doing actually not even YouTube has uh, stuff but uh, there seems to be a lot more channels coming up now on the web where you can actually take a you, you can actually replace much of cable TV with uh, shows from the internet. Now, a lot, of the, a lot of these shows that I've been looking at use thousands of dollars worth of equipment. And I don't have that. I Everything I have is refurbished or, or, or Freegan. Right? That's essentially uh, Freegan is when you get things out of tra trash and refurbish it. Refurbished is somebody else has refurbished it and is reselling it. Uh, the good things about the refurbished parts is if you are somewhat technically inclined, uh, you can take something that is used in oil at maybe a tenth of the price that you would get it at retail and make it work for you. So that's, uh, you know, th this is my choice is uh, free again and refurbished uh, for 95% of what I have in here. And this is the way the shows are, are, are going to, and all the shows that I produce on here are going to be on the on the freegan and refurbished side. That means most of the equipment uh, will be either freegan or refurbished. The software is all going to be open source that we build everything on. There's not going to be anything paid for. Uh, if we run into a problem uh, that we find something is not done on open source, or should I don't find something that's, that, that's done, that can be done on open source, I will sit down and write or adjust the software so that it does do that, and this is over, of course, over a period of time. So I am not taking the point, the the point that oh, Linux doesn't want to do what I want it to do. Linux sucks. Blah 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 blah. Well, my approach will be: this doesn't work the way I want it to. Here are the scripts to work on it, and then sit down and try to figure out the best way to improve the product, improve the software, the open source software, so that it does do what you want it to do. This is the direction that a lot of these, this show is going to be taken in. I will be adding in uh, some of the camera walkarounds the way you see in some of the other shows where they edit uh, a day's worth of video together and you sort of see them throughout the day as they're sort of walking through this video uh, I will be adding more of that into here uh, I haven't had the chance to do that yet uh, my back warehouse where I do a lot of the freegan uh, work uh, I process a lot of the freegan materials we're in the back warehouse uh, I haven't uh, gone back there yet to start working on the, on those materials so uh, when I do that you will be able to see on a daily basis um, basically me processing the free good materials if I get a chance uh, maybe in the next week or so if there's more stuff out there and I get enough of my warehouse cleared up that uh, I will be bringing in more free good stuff and I'll take you out to the dumpster and you can sort of see how I pick out uh, the stuff I pick out so uh, that's it for today in terms of the first comment if I do have anything more to say, I will come on and comment again. 
otherwise the uh, first comment is going to be sort of the comment of the day uh, like I said I'm hoping to add in some uh, uh, some um, edited video sort of the walk arounds and uh, otherwise uh, the first comment will review the day before and sort of lay out some of what I'm planning to do during the day. I really don't know what I'm going to be doing do during during the day. I have a list of of things I'd like to get done, and things of and a list of things that have to get done. So uh, as I go through it, some of the stuff I get done, some of the stuff I run as a problem. So I have to shell it for a bit and maybe work on it another day. But otherwise, it's uh, a pretty open day, it, 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 and it shifts from day to day. So I'll see you a little bit later on.